Last night, I was up in Big Fork covering the second annual Big Fork PRCA Rodeo. And let me tell you, it felt more like a 10-year event with double the people from last year and some great riding as well. But a lot of times, we don't get to see the people behind the scenes. Here's more from the first night of the Big Fork PRCA Rodeo. Well, it's, it's darn sure different than any other rodeo that uh, about anybody puts on. You know, it's a, it's a great site for an event like this. It's, a, it's, it's very unique. It's in your face rodeo. You know, there's really not many rodeos like this in the country. Last year, Big Fork became host to one of the PRCA rodeos that happens to fall during Cowboy Christmas. And although it's only in its second year, the rodeo is proving to be something special. One thing that sets this three-day event apart from others is the manpower that goes into the setup of the rodeo in the months leading up to it. Most, most rodeos, a uh, stock contractor just rolls in with the stock and uh, puts on a rodeo. This deal here, we, we, we build it from the ground up. Uh, me and my wife and a couple friends do the, most of the labor and stuff. And our, we, we have a couple sons that uh, take care of the, most of the stock and have a partner that uh, uh, supplies the bulls. And it's not just the rodeo itself that makes this weekend so special, but the community it's surrounded by. Big Park, Montana, you know, it's one of the coolest towns in all of America, all of the world. And uh, I just always thought that they needed a rodeo here. That, you know, there's so many people in town over the 4th of July weekend. And the Flathead Valley has responded well. Operations manager Rob Brizendine says after a great turnout last year, the rodeo had to be expanded for 2019. The first year we were just overwhelmed by how many people came to watch this rodeo. It was, it was absolutely amazing to see the energy here and the atmosphere that was created by this really small town rodeo. So we really did this year, we really kind of went in and um, um, added a lot of infrastructure improvements. We added over a thousand seats here. So we're hoping to really fill these uh, the next three days. And the crowd surely turned out on day one as over double the amount of people came through the gates on Friday night. As for the future, Brizendine doesn't see the rodeo slowing down anytime soon. So our hope uh, for doing this with uh, New West Rodeo and the Whitfords is really to, to, to have this event here after none of us are. You know what I mean? The, the intent here is to, is to really um, build something and uh, hopefully it's here in the, in the next hundred years. And the rodeo is not quite over. Like I said, it's a three-day event, so you can still get up there tonight and tomorrow, especially if you're in the Flathead Valley. Night two kicks off in just about an hour.